Hello, this is Franklin McMahon from Media Artist Secrets, MediaArtist.com, and we're here at Creative Cow, and we're going to talk about uh, animation and Photoshop. Now this is something new in Photoshop CS2. Uh, previously, you had to go to, over to ImageReady or use another program, but we're going to show you how to make an animation fairly easily and then export it as a GIF or a Flash um, file format. So we have a picture here, and we're going to animate it. Now the first thing we want to do is open up the animation window. Okay, there it is right there. And we're going to animate some text. Um, and this will show you how to do opacity and, uh, you know, locations as far as, you know, movements and stuff. So we're going to just add a text layer. And we're going to just type the name. This is Amanda. This is a photo that I took. And um, there we go. So we're going to set up the first frame, and the first frame, we actually want this name to kind of swing down and fade in um, for this particular picture here. So I'm going to start where I want it, which is right up here, and I'm going to bring the opacity down to there. Okay, so that's how we want it to actually start. Now I'm actually going to just duplicate this frame. Okay, now we're going to go back and change the opacity up. I'm going to increase it. There it is. And we're going to drag this down. I'm actually going to hold the shift key in and we're going to let it uh, settle in right about there. So now we've got, we've got the two frames. We've got the, our, our start and end positions. We can play it. And uh, oh, look at that. That's exciting. Um, going a little fast, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to tween the two. So I'm going to shift select uh, those two right there. We're going to go into the animation pull down menu. I'll pull this up so you guys can see it a little better. And we're going to go to tween. Um, now you can do selection. I actually did selection uh, previous frame, next frame. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can actually do it. Parameters are right here, position, opacity, and effects. I'm going to leave them all selected for now, but for this we're going to do position of the words and also opacity, having them fade in. Uh, but you can toggle these off and on, and we're just going to click OK. Oh, there we go. Bring this down a bit. And uh, as you can see, Photoshop did a real nice job of just bringing it right down. And I'm actually going to play this here. And there we go. Now, previously this was very difficult to do in Photoshop. You had to do it, you know, frame by frame and really get into it. And uh, it makes it very easy. And the other thing you used to have to do is bop over to Image Ready. You can still do a lot in Image Ready, but it's certainly nice to have animation really, you know, just now built into Photoshop. Okay, let me pause this. Now, finally, to export this, um, you can do it a couple different ways. The, the typical way is save for web. And uh, if you do any of the GIF formats, you can see that uh, you can export it right there. And there's some play options right down here to kind of, you know, check the timing and check, you know, if you want it to stop or what have you. Uh, let me cancel that out. Now, if you did want to do a um, export to Flash, you do have to bop over to, let me move this aside here, over to Image Ready. Now, um, Image Ready and Photoshop have really, you know, come a long way as far as being serendipitous and going back and forth. Um, so, okay, now we're in Image Ready, and it's a lot easier. It pops up fairly quickly, and we're just going to go right to Export Macromedia Flash, and there you go. And you've got some options to toggle. You can click OK and save it right out. So, again, it's really handy and really nice to now have animation built into Photoshop going to click that out. Um, so experiment. Experiment with the opacity. Experiment with moving things around. You can do fades. You can do picture-to-picture -picture effects. Uh, it's very, very cool. And again, you can export it as a GIF animation, add it right to your website. And obviously Photoshop can you know, do all the slices and HTML and all that it's the wonderful stuff that it does. Let me move this out of the way. There we go. So uh, play around with it. There's a lot of really cool features, and having animation in Photoshop CS2 is very, very handy.